Vulture funds have become one of the biggest operators in the housing market in Ireland. But how did private equity funds get such influence and what is the impact on the people? In 2017, tenants in St Helens Courts in Dunleary were given eviction notices by their landlord, the American vulture fund Apollo Global Management and Deutsche Bank. They claimed that they were refurbishing the apartments, but the tenants knew this was a move to try and increase rents, and they subsequently won their case in the RTB. In another apartment block in Sandyford, the American vulture fund Cerberus were attempting to evict tenants in order to increase rents. Tens of thousands of Irish families have had their mortgages taken over by vulture funds who ruthlessly serve eviction notices on mortgage holders in arrears. When the housing market and the banking sector crashed in 2007-2008, private equity funds swept in to take advantage. They bought up distressed loans at below value rates, as well as large amounts of land, mainly from NAMA. Since then they have been evicting mortgage holders and hoarding land in the midst of a worsening housing crisis. Texas-based Lone Star owns 600 acres of land in Dublin with the potential for 7,000 homes. Assets in Lone Star's Irish portfolio include large sites at Adamstown in West Dublin and Port Marnock in North Dublin. Many sites were previously in state ownership in NAMA. The key players for Lone Star's operation in Ireland are Eddie Byrne, the former head of lending in North America, and Michael Hines, a former portfolio manager at NAMA. Lone Star was founded by billionaire John Graken, who has Irish citizenship. He was ranked Ireland's third richest person in the Sunday Independent 2018 Rich List, with a fortune of 5.8 billion euros. It was reported last year that Lone Star are now moving out of the Irish market, having made a fortune from buying up land cheap from the taxpayer and selling it on. As if this wasn't enough, they paid less than $1 million in tax on income of $1.4 billion in 2014. Vulture funds were regarded by the former government as an alternative to state intervention in the housing market. They thought that these funds would build houses, but new figures from the CSO show that new houses being built were overstated by 60% by the government. Between 2011 and 2017, only 53,000 houses were constructed. Instead of relying on vulture funds, the state needs to use its own land to build social and affordable housing. The state controls over 3,000 hectares of residential zone land through local authorities and NAMA. This could provide up to 114,000 dwellings. It's time for the state to start building.